Let us see what is abacus. Now, behind me you see an abacus. This abacus is made of a wooden frame which is divided by a horizontal bar in two parts. The upper part is known as the upper deck and the lower part is known as the lower deck. It has rods in it and all the rods have beads in them. The value of upper bead is 5 and the value of lower bead is 1 into 4. When we need to work on a backers, we need to first find our house. And to find our house, we must divide the backers from left and right equally. Here we have got 13 rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if we divide the backers equally, we'll have 6 rod on the right and 6 rod on the left. And the rod that is left over is our house. For our understanding, let me tell you that this house is for students, but for us it is the unit place. To calculate numbers, we have to first learn. We first learn how we work on unit place, then on tens place, and then on hundred place. Similarly, in Abacus, it is also based on the similar systems. This rod will be known as unit place or house. So to have one. We need this B to touch the rod. Now the value will be considered 1. When another B touches the rod, the value would be considered 2. Again, one B touches it, the value would be 3. But if this B is not touched to the horizontal bar, then the value is still 3 and not 4 because this is not considered unless and unless it is touched. To have the value 4, we must have this touched to the horizontal bar. Now, the upper B has a value of 5. So, to get 5, we must bring this to the horizontal bar. Now, the value is 5. For 6, the 5 B and the one bead of the lower should touch together the horizontal bar. Now the value is 6. To have 7, we must have the 5 again with 2 of the lower deck. So the value is 7. 8. For 8, we must have 5 plus 3. The value would be said 8. For 9, the upper bead value of 5 plus the lower bead value of 4 should come together to give the value 9.